Hey everybody. Hi everybody. Hi. We're Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah, it's a little chilly today in it's Lincoln, It's 38 Nebraska. degrees all of a sudden. This is <laughs> crap. It's cold out. But we have the door open because it's just better lighting when we have the door open to film. So Take your breath. <laughs> we, and we went to an estate sale with... Inked Picker. We went with Inked Picker, and our day is all messed up because we were going to film this morning. We had planned on doing, we don't have a lot going on, so we planned on doing like a what to or a how to video today. Yes. We were going to show what sold, and we we're going to do like a how to show you how, if you're uh, new to this, how do you know if you should buy something and sell it, how like sell through sell rate, through rate yeah. and stuff like that. But instead, instead, we found out there was a promising garage estate sale yes so we're going to show you how not in, to do what you plan to do and do what you want to do instead <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so we met up with inked picker and we drove to crete about a half an hour from here yep. and we went to a sale that we think was awesome we ended up spending 177 dollars there which more than we usually is spend. a lot that we usually spend yeah. at garage sales but we think we found some really good stuff so we're going to show you those things yeah. and then we're going to show you the things that i need to ship up and get out of here today okay let's check it out let's check it out All right, you want to show your stuff from yesterday or not? Yeah. All right, we, we found a few things yesterday Donna did. I did not. We found a frog for our shelf because why, Steve? Because we kiss a lot of frogs. Got to kiss a lot of frogs when we go garage selling. Okay, and then I found six of these, a dollar a piece, and they are Tupperware cupcake holders. And they sell for about eight bucks a piece or two for 16. So two dollars into 16 isn't bad. Yep. Then of course, 50 cents. Yarn. Gotta have yarn. That's for me. And then I found these Allegra shoes. Um, what did I say they were? 25? Uh, 25? Here, yeah. And then I found these brand new Lewis and Clark shoes. And they're about the same sell through, but they don't look like they've been worn at all. A little bit smaller size. And then Steve found this fossil bag. Yeah, fossil bag. For two bucks? Two, two bucks, three bucks. But I don't know what the sell through is. Yeah, we didn't look it up, but it's in really good condition, so we just grabbed it. Oh, and don't One forget the thing. picture. Yes. Oh, my. Yeah. And bring it over here. So we found this at a garage sale for $15, and it is a print, but it has been. We've not done any signed. research on it. It is. Uh, 177 of 225, and it's signed down here, dated. Show so me the picture. A, it's a Hummel picture. And the back is in Deutsch. There's a Sorry. certificate of authenticity for the birthday banquet. And there's Tells the, the, history. the story of it. And then this and is then the... And then there's a, some kind of letter. Original authentica authentication? Something like that. So we paid $15. We haven't looked into it at all, but we thought for $15... Bucks, uh, signed print, only 225 of them. But I, I yeah. like the Hummels, and our friend Ruth and Larry like the Hummels, and... So we picked it up. Yeah. Then, like I said, today we weren't going to... We had nowhere to go. We were just going to film, ship, do the things. You sound like you're homeless. We have nowhere to we go. Nowhere to go. <laughs> no, it's cold today, so we thought we don't want a garage sale or anything anyway, and then... Uh, Ink Picker was out, and she's like, hey, there's a sale in Crete. And I'm like, yeah, and she sent pictures, and it's like, this looks kind of cool. Let's check it out. Yeah. And you guys, it was full, a house full of very old things. A lot of them new. Very cool. So here we go. Um, I don't know what Donna bought. She probably don't know much of what I bought. The first thing yeah. when we walked I in. Bought, I bought this out of that box, and you bought the, all the rest. So you show us yeah, what you I got. I got this entire box. It's all priced individually priced it would have been 50 52 dollars and she gave it to me for 45 dollars i'm gonna look up some comps and pop them up i only looked up like two things but if you watch us for a long time you know that we've sold a couple old in the bag t-shirts yes. made in the usa from like the 80s or whatever for like 30 40 bucks a piece mm -hmm. and so we found this i only looked up like one or two things i'll pop up some comps but um first of all we have this e and w loungewear robe robe Made in the USA for $3 from St. Louis, Missouri. Yep. And then I got all these things. This is a brand new pair of boxers from Brent. And there's just one pair in here. But I saw where one pair sold for 
The vintage like 20, underwear. Like 30 bucks, I think. Yeah. Um, anyway, getting into this, Fruit here's some loom. Fruit of the Loom. This is a three pack, paid $6. So it's, I mean, they gave us a little bit of a deal. So Look at the tag. Um, but I don't three, know, can you see that? Yeah, old that's, that's old school there. And then there's Derby, a Derby men's pocket t shirt. I did see one of these, uh, I don't know if it was yellow, but one Derby pocket t shirt like this sold for like best offer of like off of like 40 or 45 bucks. So hoping for good things here. We haven't found a. Here's a Towncraft men's polo shirt. I mean, them tags are so well, old. Well, it's a regular t shirt, but polo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the brand or something, polo shirt. I don't know. Huh. So. All we new and tag. We haven't found an old vintage tee for what a year and a half. Uh, yeah, probably Arrow brand, Arrow Stride T-shirt. Here's a men's polo shirt, pocket T-shirt. Oh, because this the collar goes up a little bit. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Um. There's another one. Here's three Fruit of the Loom athletic, athletic shirts. T-shirts. I mean that man, that's cool. And these things. I don't know. This is Montgomery Ward. Oh wow! It's it's open, so there's only one. It looks like the package probably had three, but there's one left. So we grab that. Here's Another an unopened Montgomery Ward. Montgomery Ward three crew neck T-shirts. Uh, everything's made in the USA. Old, old, old. Fruit of the Loom. America's favorite. Yep. Look at that three there unopened. U Utica Bodyguard Durblin. I don't know. Durable. But we got it. We picked it up. Three <laughs> more shirts. And then we got this one. This is a Sears brand, Sears Men's Store. Mm -hmm. uh, three shirts there. And then there is, I don't know, Mayo Spruce shorts. <laughs> I don't know, but that's old and it's brand new, unopened. And lastly, there was a fleece sweater shirt. Fleeced sweater shirt like a men's short sleeve sweatshirt. from pennies so that's old that is so i think you have something else in that box oh yeah down here i don't know what it is because donna bought this i did not you didn't buy this no i didn't buy this i didn't buy it i wonder if alicia that might have been maybe alicia grabbed that we'll ask her they might have put it in the wrong box um royal Kindle. Shaver. It's a shaving knife. So we'll see if she bought that. I I don't know. They were good. I'm sure one of us got charged for it because they were good about <laughs> making sure we paid for everything. So yep. if she doesn't claim it, then we'll sell it. But there I think it's probably hers. Okay. What's this thing right down here? All right. We'll go to my things and there's... Oh, it's in there. This I found out in the garage for $5. What is it? It's a paint stripper. Oh. Oh. It heats up and then you scrape the paint. It heats up the paint and then you scrape it. These are really old and hard to find. And I found like sold comps for like three of these for like 75 bucks. I paid five dollars for it. Nice. Okay, I got a bunch of these packaged hankies. Oh, cool. And so imported from Switzerland. Fancy. Still in the What'd package. You pay for those? They're five a piece. I don't even, yeah, because I don't even know what Donna got. So I didn't look them up, but I know that hankies do pretty well. Then this is a muslin um, pillowcases. pillowcases. And then I found these. And these are Durex double edge blades. They're razor blades. And oh, so a box of a whole bunch of little boxes? Yes. So for three bucks a box. And I did see, you have to put up a comp. I can't remember because I looked at so many things at the store, but I think it was like 25 a box. Okay. So got them for three dollars a box. Okay. And then I don't know what's in here. That was me. Go ahead and open that. This is you. It's a brand new. The cardboard is not broken. You can't get them out of there. And it's a set of three enamelware, Colombian brand enamelware pots. I paid twenty dollars for that, but I did see a sold comp for uh, the same package, just clean. Like this one's dirty from storage. We can clean it out. We though. can try to clean yeah. it out best we can. We just can't take them out of here. Yes. But I saw a sold comp that sold for best offer off of like 115 or 125 or something. Look at 69 cents. 69 cents. That's crazy. And I got this for three dollars. It sells for like 20, I believe. But it is a set of 
lusterware, lustroware uh, containers. Yeah. And then I found my first colored. <laughs> this is, yeah. Colored. Let me see if I can get it out of here. Oh. Colored Charmin. Yellow. How long has it been since you've seen that? I don't know if I've ever. Well, I did. I did have you look seen, it up or anything? I heard that yeah. you can find them. Look them up. Did yeah. you look it up? It's like 20 bucks, something like that. We'll have awesome. to look it up again. This guy, I don't know what this is. This guy, though, I did look him up. Got him for 20 but I looked him up. The lawyer. And he's a Royal Dalton. But I didn't see any chips or anything on him. And I believe he comps from $74 to $99. Awesome. So we'll see if that's the case. Because sometimes you just hurry through stuff. I got this for a dollar. Durham's Furniture Polis. I saw, Polish. I saw some of them not in this kind of a bottle. Um, you know, for like $15. So we'll see on that. It was only a dollar. So I thought I'm going to take a chance. And then I got this Italian... Here's the tag. Italy wool, rayon wool uh, tapestry. But it's so pretty. They said it was in a box. And I paid $15 for it. So I'm hoping to get, you know, about 50 to 75. Oh, cool. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I can see that. Very nice. But it doesn't look like it's been even displayed there's no holes in the corners you know like sometimes there's holes in the corners from people hanging them on the wall and stuff like that don't see any of that very nice um and then i got the scissors it didn't take time to look them up but they do sell for me pretty well and they're brand new i don't think they've ever been used yeah i don't think so either clean cut pinking shears in the box and then i found this little soap it's Beverly Hills Hotel soap. You open that up, take the top off, and there's a bar of soap in there. Beverly Hills Hotel. And I saw one, I found one on eBay <laughs> that sold for $20. So I paid $5 oh, for that's it. That's cool. Just figured it's easy to list, easy to ship. Yeah. We'll sell that. So that's it in this box. Is that it? Yeah. That's everything. How do you think we did? $177. Okay, I think. I think we did really good. I'm I'm anxious to see what these t-shirts. I hope the t-shirts are as much fun for you to list <laughs> as <yeah>. the books. <laughs> yeah, I got to get through them books. I still got like three and a half boxes to go, but Yes. So anyway, that's what we got and now because I have to get things to the post office and I got to get them in boxes with postage on them. We need to go show you what sold. All right, let's, let's go. go. Please like and subscribe. Okay, down here in the eBay area. Here's our eBay area. Oh wait, hold on. We have to turn the lights on. Let's, let's light this baby up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, it's like daytime <laughs> in the basement. Yeah. Oh, you can see the lint on my shirt. That's what I'm talking about. That is so much better. Okay. Man, that's awesome. All right, let's go. All right, I already pulled the books and uh, one box of DVDs from upstairs and brought them down. So we're just going to show you those first and then the other few things that we have selling. And we'll get you out of here pretty quickly today. Yeah. All right, we have, first of all, Last Tango in Paris. This is new sealed. This came from a clean out where you recently did. That sold for $10 plus shipping. Then we have Quantum Leap, the complete series. They got like half my face is in shadows now, but... That's okay. It don't matter. We can see the stuff, and that's what's important. Uh, Quantum Leap Complete Series. This sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, then we have some books, some comic books. Batman, The Killing Joke. This one sold for, it's just a little thin little book, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is The Haunted Tank. Series 2, The Haunted Tank DC comic book, and this sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I did get an offer for this for $32, and I sat on it and didn't take it, didn't do anything, and then about four hours later, somebody paid full price. Are you telling me I should have done that? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, Birds of Prey, this is five Birds of Prey comic books. I did the whole lot, and this lot sold for $20 plus shipping. This is two Best of Spider-Man. These are hard hardcover editions. 
volume one and volume two, and the two of these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And then there's one more media thing, a record back in the record drawer. Down here, there is Megadeth, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. And that sold for $29.99 plus shipping right there. It's Megadeth's newest album. It's a pretty good album. Not as good as their old stuff, but is it ever as good as the old stuff? Where'd you get it? This was part of the, when I ran around all the Walmarts oh, yeah. and bought $15 records. So I paid $15 for this at Walmart and sold for $30. Nice. All right, Donna's going to get the rest of the stuff here. And first is in box 23. 23. I got in that box yesterday. This is going to be a Kodak. Ah. A vintage Kodak trimmer. I thought it was bigger. No, this is picture. for photo paper. So it's not like a big paper trimmer. Can I just tear it? Yeah. Did this come from Air Park? It does not say. There we go. All right, so there is that vintage... Kodak photo paper trimmer, and that sold for $25 plus shipping. There's right only there. one little thing left in this box. Yep. A little lammy. Little lammy. That's all that's in there. It's about time to fill that box. We got box LA. Let's go in here to our dimly lit room now. LA is right on the other side of LB right there. She had to pull well, LB who out. Who did that? Okay. Yeah, that was me. Whoopsies. All right, in here there's going to be a set of, there it is, Build-A-Bear outfits. Um, <laughs> What's got here? Okay. All right, little Build-A-Bear build outfit. Build-A-Bear shoes. Little shoes, pants, t-shirt. Razorbacks. Even Joe Boxers. Is that Joe Boxers? Is that what that's yeah. called? Yeah. That's funny. Bear Boxer. Bear Boxer. So that all sold for $8.99 for that lot. How cute is that? Yep, pretty cute. Next up, we got a pair of jeans. I just want to go ahead and grab them. Number 228. There's a pair of jeans for $12.74 going out. And then, Donna, what? box. This might be the last thing. Box 78. It's more fun out here now that we can see. Yeah. Box 78, there's a Princess House Heritage Floral three tier stacking covered candy dishes. Do you know we have two of these? Yes. <laughs> there's still one available. So if you like this, there's still one available. Get your very own. Princess House Covered Candy Dishes. Because we have to have something breakable go out. That's right. Can you see the, All right, there the is flower design? The stackable. We put the jeans behind there so you can hopefully see the etching. <laughs> you want to take a couple off there and show? Like, there's three separate bowls. They just all stack up with the lids, so... Yeah, pretty cool, right? We uh, bought a ladies' collection of Princess House last summer, and she had all of these in there. Cool. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine plus shipping right there. Yep. That's it. That's everything, Donna. That's everything. Now you have to ship it. No. No. Um, that's it. I got to get this stuff out, and we need the list. I got a whole bunch of old T-shirts. Yeah, we've been playing too much. And books. <laughs> yeah. So it's time to list. Playing. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. Share with your friends. That too. Yeah. And we'll just see you on the next one. Okay. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're happy our treasures. See you next time. Bye.